It's a truly remarkable fact of American life. Nearly 90% of this country's winter produce is planted, grown, and harvested in a desert. But how can the Imperial Valley, one of the most arid places on Earth, supply such a bounty of fresh vegetables to people across our nation? It all begins with that essential natural element known as water. It's uh, Imperial Valley, it's one large desert. Very little rainfall. Fortunately, the Colorado River traveled this direction. And as people have moved west and the Imperial Valley was discovered, uh, some men had some thoughts uh, about harnessing the potential that that Colorado River would have for this area. And um, they used horse and plow, and they dug the All-American Canal which brings water from uh, across the desert to bring it into Imperial Valley. The work that our forefathers put into this place to, to bring it from a desert to, to a beautiful garden, the amount of produce that this area produces is, is quite remarkable. And I think most of us as farmers here are quite proud to be able to provide that bounty uh, for our fellow Americans. A lot of people think farmers overuse the water, they're wasting water, when in reality, they're not. Farmers are actually doing the best that they can to save as much water as possible. So I often hear that, you know, ag uses 80% of California's water. Well, they have to ask themselves, like, is growing our food supply a beneficial use of water? We're trying to, to feed the nation. I would just hope that Farmers aren't labeled the enemy. Our goal is to use the right amount of water to, to produce the right amount of crop. We've used drip systems. We've used sprinkler systems, overhead irrigation, tailwater recovery systems. I have a dozen apps all tied to different soil monitoring and weather monitoring. And what this allows us to do is get more crop per drop. You know, the amount of water that, that we use to grow a head of lettuce 10 years ago versus today, the amount is so much less. We have to be ready for new technology, be able to embrace that technology to, to conserve water. Since 2003, Imperial Valley farmers have conserved more than 7.2 million acre feet of water for transfer to urban areas in need. That's more than 2.3 trillion gallons. So it's been a win-win for ag and also for the communities along the coast. Urban areas uh, may need some more water because of their growth. Uh, I believe there's a fair and balanced way to get this done. Um, and, and I think farmers want to be part of the solution. There's roughly uh, 180,000 people in Imperial Valley versus uh, 40 million other people that use water on the river. So we understand we need to work with those folks, get water to them, and that way uh, we can both live uh, peacefully. We have an ever-increasing population. Every year, less arable acres are available, so modern day farmers are gonna to have to continue to produce more with less. We're actually growing medicine. Uh, in a day and age where we have major uh, health issues that, that the country's dealing with, we're a bright light that needs water to grow those crops and to grow that medicine. To be a farmer, you have to love what you do. You have to love the land, and if you take care of the land, it'll take care of you. Each wave of water channeled from the Colorado River is precious. Imperial Valley farmers will continue to pioneer its responsible use, efficient conservation, and collaborative allocation for generations to come. This message brought to you by the farmers and ranchers of Imperial Valley. <laughs>